We're experimenting with code with me in IntelliJ, we being myself and Miss Momeni. And I am the host, and Miss Momeni is sitting next to me, and she is the guest. And uh, I'm going to ask her, Miss Momeni, can you edit the code? And then I'll see the change on my side. So I'm not touching my keyboard. And Miss Momeni is editing the same project that I'm looking at on my computer. So, how did we make this happen? Now, I'm the host, so I'm coming over to this button here. I click on it, and I'm going to, um, let's see, how do I get out of it? Um, okay, permissions and security. No, not that. How do I end the session? By the way, uh, since we, it's not a paid license, it's community edition, you can see here there's a, there's a timer on it. And perhaps this is what we saw in class today with um, YY. But uh, it looks like you have a 30-minute uh, collaboration session. Max, now how do I, how do we end the session? Um, hang on, guys. Um, okay, turn off. Turn access off and disconnect everybody. So I'm going to do that. Now, suppose uh, you want some help with your code. So you start up your IntelliJ, and you click on this button, and you want to uh, enable access and copy invitation link. So here is where you set your settings. If you're going to have a collaboration setting with the teacher or someone else, you can set it up so that both the guests can edit your file. And so, and also you should automatically start the voice call, I guess. So enabling access, and now the link to my session has been copied and I can send it to people who want to have join. So I'm coming over here to my email, I'm gonna propose a message and send it to Ms. Momeni. And here's the link. And we, now I'm sending her that link right now, and she's going to check her inbox. Let's go back to my IntelliJ. And up here at the top, while she's checking her inbox and responding to the link, I'm going to turn on my mic and turn on my camera. And there I am. And this is for screen sharing. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that for the moment. Now, uh, Ms. Momeni is waiting for, what did it say? Waiting for host approval. approval. Right. Okay, so Ms. Momeni received an email. She clicked on the link. Then I'm going to accept her on her side. I'm looking at her screen over here. And now she's inside the project. And she's going to start editing the file again. So there she is. So there it is. And now you can see this is Miss Momeni over here. And Miss Momeni can even well, review the chat. Um, okay, now there's Miss Momeni in the call. Hi, everyone. And then if I open and close the chat, I can say, hello, Sanaz. And, and then Miss Momeni can uh, respond back in the chat. So there, there you go. This all works pretty cool. Another reason to use uh, IntelliJ and not, well, something else. Here is a list of people that are in the call. Now, I think with the community edition, you're limited to, what did it say? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, but I think there's also a limit to the number of guests that can join the session that the host is providing. So uh, it's possible if you're using this, uh, you can help each other when you're not in school. Again, another reason, another reason, hint, hint, to use IntelliJ. So you could be looking at each other's code and helping each other without going too far, as we discussed in class today, right? You know, you can help, but you can't do it for the other person. Now this looks like, okay, there it's showing uh, that I have a guest in my session. Now let's say I want to end the session, just come over here and say turn off, turn access off and disconnect everybody. 
Yeah. And then Ms. Mamani gets a notification saying she's been... Session was ended. Session was ended. So hope this helps and we can discuss it more in class on Wednesday. Thank you.